Song, aren't we? Yeah. Picking up the garbage. <laughs> Putting it in a trash can. <laughs> nice song, Rolly. But we better get going on today's jobs. Farmer Pickles wants us to fix his drain pipe. Great! That's a really mucky job, Bob. Sorry, Muck. You and Lofty have to go help Wendy over at Mrs. Potts. The wind blew the chimney pot off her roof last night. Oh, no! Scoop, you and Rolly come with me to Farmer Pickles. Come on, Bird. We can finish our song when we get back. Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Uh, yeah, I think so. Here's the marker Farmer Pickles left for us. What's a marker for, Bob? It marks the spot where we have to dig. The cracked drain pipe is down here. Ready, Scoop? Ready, Bob. Hi, Scruffy. Hello, Farmer Pickles. <laughs> well, well, well. It looks like part of my fence was blown away last night. Don't worry. I can fix it, Farmer Pickles. But I'll have to go and get the right tools. No rush, Bob. That pipe's more important today. Come on, Scruffy. Look, Wendy. That chimney pot nearly broke my lovely new bird bath. Yes. It's lucky no one was hurt, Mrs. Potts. Uh, don't worry. We'll be able to replace it for you. A rolling! A rolling! A rolling! Hey, Bird, when we get back, we can put that in our song. <laughs> All done, Bob. Come on, Bird. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. What's the matter with Squawk? <laughs> What about our song, Bird? Don't worry, Rolly. I wonder where they went to in such a hurry. Don't forget, you have to go get the new chimney pot, Muck. Okay, Wendy. I'll meet you at JJ's later. Bye, Mrs. Potts. Bye, Muck. Cup of tea, Wendy? Oh, I'd love one, but uh, Lofty and I have to pick up the chimney pot. Oh, well, why don't you have a cup when you get back? Oh, thanks. Uh, where's Bird? Bird went with Squawk. I think he forgot all about the song they were going to make up. I'm sure Bird didn't forget. He really likes making up songs with you, Rolly. Maybe he'd rather make up songs with Squawk now. Oh, Rolly, that's not true. <laughs> of course he wouldn't. I'm sure Bird wouldn't have gone if it wasn't important. Yeah, Bird's just busy. Busy, oh. Rolly, 
Do you think Bird's in trouble? Ah! 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 us to follow him, Bob. All right, Rolly. Show us the way, Squawk. Ah! Ah! Oh, look, a bird's nest. It must have blown right out of a tree. Oh, no. Well, we can't leave it on the road. Okay, let's get back to Mrs. Potts. What's the matter, Squawk? Look, it's Bob and Rolly. Bird's in trouble, Wendy. Squawk's led us all this way. Got to, got to get to Bird. But the road's blocked, Bob. Oh, no. That looks just like Farmer Pickle's fence. Ah! Ah! Oh, what are we going to do, Bob? All right, milk and sugar for Wendy. Milk and sugar for me. I hope Wendy won't be long. Oh, goodness me, what was that? Oh, ghosts! Bob, Wendy, stand back. What are you going to do? I am going to help my friend Bird rock and roll! Yay, good job, Rolly. Come on, team, we have to hurry. Hello? Mrs. Potts? Oh, Wendy. Bob, I'm so glad to see you. What's wrong, Mrs. Potts? My wonderful house. It's haunted! Oh. That's not a ghost, Mrs. Potts. It sounds like there's something stuck in your chimney. It must be Bird. So that's what Squawk was trying to tell us. I think we'll have to open up your fireplace, Mrs. Potts. It's the only way to get him out. Oh. Oh, of course, Wendy. Oh, poor bird. Hurry! It's all right, Rolly. We found bird. Oh, oh, phew! Well done, Squawk! Ah! Is he all right, Wendy? Don't worry. He'll be fine, Rolly. I'll just give Bob these tools, and then we'll get bird out quickly. Okay, stand back, everybody. Oh, this is a tough bit of brickwork. Uh, well, I'm sure that we are. Hello, you two. Oh, oh, look. There's a little baby bird, too. Where did you come from? Come on. Let's get you both cleaned up. It's much safer now. Oh, thanks, Wendy. Oh, you poor little thing. What's he saying, Rolly? His nest blew out of his tree last night. Oh, he lost his mom. Bird and Squawk were helping him look for her. Maybe this belongs to them. We found it on the way. Oh, it certainly sounds like it's theirs. Uh, Lofty, could you help me lift it back up into a tree? Uh, yeah, I think so, yeah. Good job, Lofty. Look, everybody! Oh, that's his mom. She's been looking for him all day. Oh, she says thank you to everybody. We couldn't have found them without you, Rolly. You saved your friend and baby bird. <laughs> that's all right, bird. Now, can we go and finish our song? What's that, Mrs. Potts? Oh, it's an old bird feeder I found, Bob. I filled it with nuts and seeds to help my new neighbors get settled. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you, Mrs. Potts. They must be hungry after all that excitement. Hey, bird! They're singing our song! All together now! Baking up the garbage! Putting in the trash can! Bob, are you ready to go to Mr. Beasley's? Oh, Mr. Beasley's? Oh, can I come? 
Well, we don't really need you today, Dizzy. We're going to change the boiler. Oh, please, Bob. Oh, okay, Dizzy. In fact, you can carry my toolbox. Take it straight to Mr. Beasley's, and we'll meet you there after we picked up the new boiler from JJ's. Yippee! Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Mr. Beasley? Oh, uh, hello, Dizzy. Have you come to fix my boiler? No, I'm just bringing Bob's tools. Thing is, I wanted to ask him about these strange noises. What noises? Banging noises all over my house. Uh, why don't you come and listen to it? Uh, me? Um, okay, Mr. Beasley. Hello, Molly. I see Mr. Beasley's boilers arrived. Oh, I see something else has arrived here, too. Oh, yeah, the rabbits. I'm looking after them for Mrs. Broadbent. Ah. Uh... Okay, Scoop. Time to load up that boiler. No prob, Bob. We'll need some copper pipes and fittings, too, please, Molly. I'll go get them for you. Oh, yeah. Well, I can't hear it now, but if you... What do you think it is? I don't know, Dizzy. You don't think it could be a... a... A uh, ghost? No! My, I hadn't thought of that. Uh, uh, maybe it's uh, aliens from another planet. Oh, ah! That's it! That's the banging noise! I'm getting out of here! Dizzy, what's the matter? Oh, there was this terrible banging in Mr. Beasley's house. Uh, I think it's a ghost. <laughs> There's no such things as ghosts, Dizzy. The noises are the old pipes for the central heating system. You see, sometimes when the boiler gets old, the pipes make a banging noise when the hot water goes through them. That's why we're putting in a new one. Come on, we'll show you. No, it's all right, Bob. Um, I'll just go back to the yard. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Bye, Dizzy. You know, I I don't think it is aliens after all. It it sounds like a little animal under the floor. I know. It's probably a mole. They live underground. Don't worry, Molly. I'm coming. <laughs> No, oh, no, these tools are too small. I need something big to get the floorboards up. I know. I have a crowbar in my garden shed. Yeah, that'll do the trick. There, everything's unloaded. I'll go and get started upstairs. What's that hose for, Wendy? It's to drain the water out of the pipes. Why do you need to do that? Well, so that Bob doesn't make a mess all over Mr. Beasley's house when he fits the new boiler. Oh, yeah. I see. Muck, pass me those sacks, please. I need them to put the old pipes in. Okay, Wendy! Oh, no. They're a little shabby. Look at all these holes. I know. Let's run over to JJ's and get some new ones. That's funny. Uh, it doesn't sound like banging now. It sounds like water. Uh, no! Maybe there's a river running under my house. No, no! Uh, if I let the bulb out first, uh, then I could try to block off the river. No! Oh, what was that? It's louder than ever. There must be hundreds of moles down there. I better get these floorboards up right away. There. The old pipes are off. Now for the boiler. There we go. There we are. Whoa. That banging made me jump. But where's it coming from? It can't be the pipes. Wendy's drained the water out of them already. Hi, everyone. Oh, hi, JJ. Have you lost something? Shh. Trix accidentally let all the baby rabbits out when she tried to give them some food. Oh, no. Look, here's one. I'll try to catch it. Oh, 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 he got away. I've caught the others, Dad. I'm afraid we couldn't catch the last one. Oh, no. Don't worry. I'll help you find him in a minute. But first, what can I do for you, Wendy? Do you have some sacks, JJ? I think there's a couple around here somewhere. Ah, yes, here we are. Oh, thanks, JJ. OK, 
Okay, Mark. Let's go. Okay, Dad. Let's see if we can find that last baby rabbit now. There, that's done it. Oh. What happened? Uh, I was just, uh, get, well, uh... Get... Oh, you're back, Wendy. What's going on here? I think I have a mole under my floor. He's doing a lot of banging. Excuse me, Mr. Beasley? The banging noise was coming from your old pipes. Ah, but what about the water? Yeah, there must be an underground river down there. That was me draining the water out of your old pipes. <laughs> but then I heard really loud banging. Oh, <laughs> that was me taking out the old boiler. <laughs> I'm quite good at sorting out these little mysteries. <laughs> yes. Well, we should get moving, Wendy. Why don't you let me do that, Mr. Beasley? No, oh, okay, Wendy. Then I think I'll go and get cleaned up. But you won't have any hot water until I finish the boiler. I know. Why don't you go and get cleaned up back at the yard? Oh, that'd be just great, Bob. Now, Muck, can you take the boiler to the dump and leave the sack of old pipes at the yard? We'll take them to be recycled tomorrow. Oh, and can you give Mr. Beasley a lift back to the yard? Uh, uh, okay, Bob. Uh, come on, Mr. Beasley. Oh, uh, thank you, Buck. Yeah. And that was when the banging started. It went bang, 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 like that. But what was it, Dizzy? Well, Bob said it was the old pipes. But I thought it sounded like a ghost. Freaky! Mr. Beasley, what happened to you? Yeah, yeah, I've been working, Dizzy. Yeah, I got kind of dusty, so Bob said I could use his bathroom. Yeah. Mr. Beasley, listen! Oh, no! The bagging's in Bob's yard as well now! Maybe you've brought the ghost! It must be in my boiler! Oh, no! Don't you worry, Buck. Just put it down very slowly. Maybe we should try to talk to it. Yeah. Hello, ghost in the boiler. Hi, everyone. Oh! Shh, quiet, Scoop. Mr. Beasley's talking to the ghost in his boiler. There are no such things as ghosts. But listen, Bob. Hold on a minute. The noise seems to be coming from this sack. Oh, <laughs> look, it's a rabbit. Oh, it's the one Molly was looking for. The banging was the rabbit knocking the pipes against the boiler. You know, I, I didn't think it could be a ghost. Not for a minute. <laughs> I'm quite good at sorting out these little mysteries. Right, Muck. We're ready for the last load of gravel. Okay, where do you want it? Over here, Muck, please. Okay, Rolly. Come on, bird. Let's rock and roll. <laughs> to the left, two, three, four, to the right, six, seven, eight, stretch. Oh, oh, stop, Rolly, stop. What is it, Dizzy? Look. <laughs> There's a stone uh, with a head, and it's moving. Oh, oh, look, Bob, a tortoise. How on earth did you get here? It's a good thing you spotted him, Dizzy. He could have had a very bad accident. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, tortoise. I'm sorry if I scared you. Aw, you're a little like me, aren't you? Slow, but you get there in the end. Oh, what are you going to do with the tortoise, Bob? I don't know, Dizzy. But he can't stay here while we're building this bus stop. He might get hurt. Well, why don't you take him back to the yard? Muck can go and pick up the shelter, and you can send Lofty out to me. 
Good idea, Wendy. Can I take Timmy, Bob? Timmy? Timmy Tortoise. That's his name. <laughs> yes, of course you can, Rolly. There you are, Timmy. You'll be safe in there while I build you a tortoise hutch. <laughs> Ready, Lofty? I've got the shelter. You can carry the bus stop sign. Oh, okay. Thanks much. Uh, 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 wait for me! Okay, we've got to find Timmy's owner. No, we can't, Dizzy. Tortoises are extremely rare, you know. Timmy must be very precious to somebody. His owner will be looking for him everywhere. You're right, Scoop. I want you two to go and see if any of our neighbors has lost a tortoise. No prob, Bob. Can we find them? Yes, we can! And I'd better get on with this tortoise hutch so that Timmy doesn't run away again. Timmy can't run. He's a slow mover, just like me. Up we go, Lofty. Tommy? Tommy? Oh, where are you? Uh, have you lost something, Mrs. Potts? Yes, Dizzy. I've lost my tortoise. What does he look like? Well, it's round, with four legs and a head. Ah <laughs> We've just found your tortoise! Oh, thank goodness. Is he all right? Yes! <laughs> Come and see! Hello, Scoop. Did you find Timmy's owner? No. I asked everybody I met, but nobody's lost a tortoise. Oh, no. Oh, I, I gotta keep an eye on Timmy. I don't want him running away again. Baby! Oh, it's so hot. Oh, come on, Rolly. Keep your eyes open. <sighs> Farmer Pickles? That's a nice load of lettuces you've got there. All freshly picked this morning. We're on our way to the market. <laughs> Be careful, bird. Mmm, <laughs> they smell so fresh. Do you think I could have one for the tortoise we've just found? Uh oh Who does he belong to? We don't know. But we're trying to find out. Well, help yourself to some lettuce. Thanks, Farmer Pickles. If I hear of anyone who's lost a tortoise, I'll let you know. Bye, Bob. Bye. Beep, 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 beep. Timmy? Where are you? Oh, oh, oh. Timmy's gone, Rolly. Oh, gone? Where? Here we are, Mrs. Potts. You're a tortoise. Huh? Where's 
my Tommy. Where's my Timmy? He's called Tommy, Rolly. Tommy! Oh, oh, Tommy! Uh, I gotta keep very still. I can't roll over Timmy or Tommy. Can you see him, bird? <laughs> Timmy! Bob, what's going on? Oh, Wendy, we've lost the tortoise. What? We've looked everywhere. Well, if he's not here in the yard, hmm. he must be out on the road. Oh, no. On the road? Oh, oh don't worry, Mrs. Potts. He's sure to turn up. <clears throat> um, have you lost something? <gasps> Tommy! Timmy! I found him fast asleep at the bottom of my trailer. I think he's full from all the lettuce. <laughs> this new hut should keep Timmy, uh, Tommy, safely off the roads. I thought he looked like a Timmy, but now I think he's more of a Tommy. <laughs> you can call him whatever you like, Roly. <laughs> I'm just glad to have him back. You know, I've had Tommy since I was a little girl. Really? I never knew tortoises lived that long. <laughs> oh, I, I mean, <laughs> what I meant to say was... Uh... Well, they can live to be 50 or 60 years old, you know. I'll miss you, Tommy. Oh, you can come and visit Tommy anytime you want, Roly. Really? Really. Oh, yeah! Oh, it's been a busy day. Yeah, we built a great bus stop, didn't we, Lofty? Oh, yeah, I think so. I found a tortoise. And I found its owner. Aw, oh, I'll miss that little fella. <laughs> But I'm glad he's home with Mrs. Potts. That's where he belongs. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, don't worry, Bird. You're still my best friend. Night, night. This is hard work. Yeah. My digger's practically in pieces. And my roller's a... Rolly, stop! Whew. That was really close. You almost knocked over the fence. Whoops. Sorry, Bob. Ah, uh, don't worry. No harm done. I think it's about time we called it a day. We're all getting a bit tired. I think I could sleep for a week. A month, two months. A year. Two years. All right, you two. You're not in a contest. Sorry, Bob. Just put this around the ditch. Don't want anyone to fall in, do we? I can. Whoa! Hey! Take it easy, Scoop. Sorry, Wendy. Tag, you're it, Wendy. Oh, <laughs> no, I'm not. It's time for me to go home. Or it would be if Bob was back. He's very late. Hey, Wendy. <sighs> oh, we're back. Yes, and by the look on your faces, I'd say you were tired. Yes, we all are. It's been a very long day. Uh, oh, it's been the longest ever, ever, ever. Wendy. Ah. Hello, Pilchard. Hello, Wendy. What jobs have we got to do today? Well, Dizzy, I'll just run into the office and get my list. What? Uh, 
other side. <laughs> Funny. Oh, look, Travis. Look where? <laughs> Is this another joke? <gasps> wow. He could have squished me. Hey, Muck, it's time to get back to work. Come on, Rolly. Can we fix it? Yes, we can. Rolly? 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 Uh, Wendy? Did you send Rolly on a job? No. Why? Um, well, he's not in the yard. Oh, Ooh, that's strange. Bird? He's where? What is it, Scoop? Bird says Rolly's sleep rolling. He's gonna flatten the town into a pancake. <gasps> well, we better go and wake him up before he gets into trouble. Come on, Scoop. No, no, wait, Bob. It can be very confusing for someone if they get woken up miles away from where they fell asleep. Somehow, we have to guide Rolly back here before he wakes up. Oh, we better split up and see if we can find him. Here, Wendy, take this. We might need to keep in touch. Can we find him? Yes, we can! Uh, I think so, yeah. Shouldn't be too hard to find. Just follow the flat stuff. Look at that street light. Rolly's rolled over everything. Rolly! Rolly! Shh! Wendy said not to wake him, Bob. Oh, yeah. Rolly! You haven't seen Rolly, have you, Travis? He's just vanished. Tell me about it. He nearly squished me like a pancake. Which way did he go? That way. Oh, thanks, Travis. Come on, Lofty. Let's go! Oh, uh, bye! Bye! Don't get in front of him. <laughs> oh, no. I hope nothing's happened. He could be. Look! What? There he is! Where? He's heading straight for the ditch. If he falls in, we'll never get him out again. What are we gonna do? Think, Scoop. Think. I am thinking. Um. Got it. Oh, Bob, what are you doing? Making a bridge. I'm home. I hope the bridge is stronger than the fence. Oh, no, I just can't look. Wendy? Oh, Wendy, we found him. I want you to get over to Mr. Beasley's with Lofty quickly. Okay, Lofty, a little closer. Be careful, Bob. All right, take him back, Lofty. Easy does it. I'm worn out. Uh, me too, I think. Bob, we can't find Rolly. Shh. Rolly, Rolly hooray! <laughs> oh, hi, everyone. Time to get up, eh? Boy, I've had a really refreshing sleep. Come on, Muck. Let's... 
<laughs> Would you look at that, Dizzy? Muck's asleep. Dizzy? Lofty? Scoop? Oh, well. Come on, Bob. Can we fix it? Oh, I'm afraid not, Rolly. Not right now. I'm a little tired. See you tomorrow, Wendy. <sighs> Bye, Bob. Bye, Rolly. Bird? What's happening? Look at them, all asleep. <laughs> and it was me who was working my rollers off yesterday, not them. I can't understand it. <laughs>